Hero or traitor? I know it's not a simple answer, but what is he? I know everyone asks me, do you think he's a hero? Do you think he's a traitor? And what I always say is that's, that's just too simple. And, you know, you're talking about, you know, the election cycle right now. I think the problem is with, with politics today, and, like, obviously I'm not an expert, but is when you try to simplify mm -hmm. these things that are actually complicated, that then no real productive discussion can happen. You know what I learned recently was that back in the days before TV, like when Abraham Lincoln was having presidential debates, presidential debates, when a president gave their answer in a debate, it would be hours long. A question would be asked and each president would go off and like do research and compose a well thought through answer with evidence to support their claims and they would present their answers and it was all very well thought through. Today it's more like reality TV, it's like sound bites, it's like what we're doing right now. It's, it's Twitter, it's Twitter. It's, it's E for entertainment. Um, and uh, you know, it's not that simple. What, you know, the, 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 the conversation that Snowden started is not a simple conversation. There's a lot of different point of views and a lot of them are valid. I think the important thing is that we all look into it for ourselves because it is, it's something that affects all of us. Uh, I certainly lean in the hero column. I mean, I, you know, the former Attorney General of the United States, Eric Holder, recently uh, publicly stated that he believed that Edward Snowden performed a public service, and I wholeheartedly agree. I mean, whether you agree with his uh, mode uh, of expression and how he chose to um, to share the information that he had, uh, you know, what he did gave us as as the public, I think, vital information that, that we have a right to and that we have a responsibility to do something about. And um, and I feel like he was painstaking in his efforts to preserve the safety of people that were around him. And I feel like he. Uh, was willing to sacrifice his life at such a young age in such a significant way um, that he genuinely believed in his uh, in his position, and I and I respect that. You know, I really, I really do. These these labels just further divide us, right? Like, is he a hero? Or is he a traitor? Is he this or is that? I think the real question is like. How do you feel about what he did? How does it impact you? How does this make you think? How does this make you think differently than perhaps you did before? How does this entice new questions and a new curiosity? And so whether he's a hero or not, whether those labels don't really matter, but it's more about how is your life directly affected because of what he did. What's up guys, I'm Juliana Rancic and you're watching the Live from the Red Carpet YouTube channel. Subscribe today, then be sure to check out our other Live from the Red Carpet videos right here.